Hi, in this video we're going to do suitability analysis using the weighted overlay method. So just from its name, it's where you overlay the raster data for different factors that you're going to consider. So suitability analysis is where you're trying to analyze the appropriateness of an area for a particular use. And in this case, we're going to try and determine areas that are most suitable for you to open a business, let's say in Nairobi, or it could be you're trying to establish areas that are most suitable, maybe to build up uh, something like a factory, or you're trying to establish the most suitable area to open up a school. So what you need to do is suitability analysis, and you need to identify the factors that are important. For example, for a business, you need an area that has high population, high income, and they're close to the roads. So here I have the roads data, I have the distance from road data, and I have the poverty data, which shows the income, and I also have the population data. So the first thing to do is you add your data and you need to make sure they're all in the same extent for example here we're using the extents of nairobi and also it's good to have them in the same resolution so they can have the same scale so i have resampled my data to 100 meters so if you have data that has low resolution you need to resample them and something else is it's good to have them in the same coordinate system so i'm using the utm now what you need to do next is to reclassify. You need to reclassify so that you can give them rank values. So to reclassify your data is you need to use the search toolbar and you search for reclassify. The reason we're reclassifying is so that you can give them the rank values. We want to put all our data into classes that are the same so they can all be in the same scale. And we're going to give them five classes so that our rank of values will range from one to five, so that the values that have a, a value of one means they are not suitable, while the ones that have a value of five means that they are highly suitable. So to do that, you, you click on the reclassify this one for special analyst tool input your raster so if we start with the population count so as i said i want five classes so i'm going to here to click on classify choose the method equal interval or whatever method you want to use and then put the number of classes and then you just click on ok so here you can see i have five classes and for population how do you give your rank values so for population we know that the areas that have high populations are the ones that are very highly suitable so that means the la this last class here which has high values will have a value of five because it's highly suitable and this is how the rank is going to be so for something like poverty the areas that have high percent of poverty will have a value of one because it's not suitable because remember if you want to open up a business you need a place where people have high income so that they can afford to buy whatever you're selling so now for the poverty the the values here will be in a reverse manner so this is what you're going to do for each and every data that you have you you're going to reclassify and you make sure they all have the same number of classes and how you assign the rank values depend on how the impact on the purpose of the study so after that we just click on ok so I've reclassified all my data and I'm going to show them to you here so this raster here is for distance from road and you can see here I have five classes so the purple ones are the ones that are very close to the, to the road and then I also have the poverty data. I have again five classes and this area here is where the poverty level is very low. Same case to population. This is how it is. So if you zoom in, you can see the areas that have very high population. 
and the ones that are very low. So what we need to do is to combine all these factors and use it to do our suitability analysis. And since we are using the weighted overlay, we need to we need to open that tool and to access it you just search again weighted overlay so you can see just from the description that it overlays several rasters so now let's add our reclassified data So you can see in the second column here, we need to specify a percent influence leak. How does this factor affect the suitability? Which one affects, which one has more influence than the other? So there, you're the one to decide that. And in some cases, you might need to ask experts around the area of study, where you can do questionnaires to know more about this. Otherwise, in something like opening up a business, we know that population has more influence than the rest and unless you are selling very expensive things so income is going to have more influence but in this case we are, we are going to give population more weight so this percent influence is like you're giving it weight so distance from road is going to have about 20 percent influence and then population will give it 50 and then the poverty let's give it 30 percent so this percent influence should all add up to a hundred percent so from there we are just going to leave the rest to default and you can specify the area where you want to store your output raster but i'm going to leave it in the default so you just click on ok so the output of this is going to be like a suitability map. It's going to give us values from 1 to 5. And 5 will be the ones that are most suitable. So this is how our suitability map looks like. So what you see here is a suitability map. It ranges from 1 to 5. So this value here, 5. These are the most suitable areas. The dark green areas are the ones that are most suitable, while the red areas are the ones that are not suitable. So this is just how you do your suitability analysis. You basically overlay your raster data, and after giving them the rank values and their weight, you can you can get a product which tells you which area is more suitable than the other. So you can change the colors under properties if you want to but that's not something important anyway so what's important is for you to know how to do this how to achieve this so what we have here is a suitability map so that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching